everyone, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. It is a lazy kind of, I'm gonna sit on my foot real quick. Just kind of a lazy Sunday. It was a lazy Saturday at our house too. But I've just been watching a lot of wax videos and catching up and filming some of my own, getting fall decor out, organizing some of this wax that I have way too much of. I'm like a broken record though. I keep saying that over and over and I don't do anything about it. I'm not I haven't stopped ordering and I have to. I don't know when it's finally gonna click in my brain, enough is enough, I don't know. But anyway, um, I have a Rose Girls pre-order haul. I got this actually before we left on vacation and didn't um, get it filmed. So I ordered, I guess, 11 bags. She has free shipping, uh, $99 and over. Um, she is very active on social media. She does pre-orders and ready to ship. Uh, she sent this nice little handwritten note. Enjoy, Jenny and team. Very nice. And I got a sample, and she usually, uh, at least lately, her samples consist of four mini melter pieces. So it's a very generous sample. I like to do these in my bedroom. They work perfect. Um, this is Frosted Circus Animal Cookie Cake. I'm glad to get this. I don't have a lot of luck with any of the Frosted Animal Cookies or uh, Frosted Animal Cake type scents. I, is this, I don't really know what it, what it kind of reminds me of a strawberry buttercream is what this kind of reminds me of. Yeah, I get kind of a, almost a medicinal type of strawberry, like, I don't know, I don't, I'm happy to have this, I'm happy to give this a try. I've not liked it a lot of other frosted animal cookie cracker type scents. They just don't, um, I, my nose just doesn't, doesn't care for them too much. Okay, so into the bags of mini melters and Mini melters are pretty much her only way that you can get her wax. She does do some mini pies and some or some pies, and she does do some chunk muffins sometimes. I've never had any of her chunk muffins. I've never had any of her pies. I guess the only thing I've ever really had is the mini melters, which I like this. I like the, the pieces. They're pretty close to all the same. Some are a little bigger, some are a little smaller, you know, whatever. So um, the first one is Boom Boom in Cookie Land, which is Boom Boom type, which is a Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom, uh, plus her Cookie Land blend, which is confetti cake, toffee butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. She does a lot of different blends with the Cookie Land. And yeah, this is of course, heavy on the Boom Boom. It's a strong oil. It usually takes over most blends, and I like it blended with just about anything. And that's basically what I'm getting here. I'm getting just a creamy Boom Boom. I like this. And if you wanted, with something like this, since the other thing in here, the other scent notes are basically bakery you you could put anything with this you wanted you could put a strong berry type scent with this i think it would be really good too the next one i got is flannels and leggings this is apple fritter honey cornbread and chai lattes now her apple fritter is a really good oil and i'm lately addicted to anything chai And yeah, I, I get the apple fritter and the, the spicy chai note. And I might be getting some cornbread. I'll admit, cornbread, my nose isn't really good with cornbread either. Some people can pick it up in anything and I struggle. But I do get something that I think is the cornbread. But I really like her apple fritter. Yeah, this is this is nice. I will I will like this a lot. It's really what my nose is liking lately. I got some wild hair I'm seeing in there too. Okay, 
Then we have Circus Concession. This is a very popular blend from Rose Girls. It's Macintosh Madness, Ooey Gooey Caramel, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Funnel Cake. Yeah, and to me, this is a Caramel Mac Apple. Yeah, this is, this is really, this is a good Circus Concession, and it's a good performer. Mm. Yep, very good. I think I have some more of this. Um, I try to pick that one up whenever she orders it or offers it. Okay, Keen Lime Donut Holes. I've been on a little bit of a Key Lime kick. I am team Tart Lime when it comes to Key Lime. Um, like I've said before, usually I have two kinds of people. The creamy, um, the creamy lime people, and then you have the tart in your face lime people, and that's that one is me. And yeah, I get a really strong key lime note. But it's funny because knowing the the donut holes are in there, it it does kind of remind. I I get the donut holes because it's kind of like walking into a bakery real early in the morning. We did that when we were in Tennessee. We stopped overnight in Tennessee at a town called, not, was it Pulaski, Tennessee? I don't know, but it was a town of about 8,000 people. We got a hotel room and spent the night, went out to eat, and then stopped at this hole in the wall um, little bakery. Uh, you could tell, you know, it was it was a local bakery, and you walk in, and they make their donuts fresh every morning. It was, it was amazing smell, and great donuts. She had a great cinnamon roll. The next one is strawberry lime sorbet, fresh picked strawberries, lime sorbet, and cotton candy clouds. Love those colors. Yeah, and this one is lime and fresh picked strawberry. Yeah, this is really good together. I do not know what's been up with me and these, these just fruity scents. This is a little different for me too. Orange jelly donut, orange Danish, cream cheese frosting, sugar milk, and jelly donut. Yeah, I get the orange Danish and the jelly donut. And that sugar milk might be giving it a little bit of a twang in there. I love sugar milk. I can't smell the cream cheese frosting really in this. Um, it's kind of an orange smoothie type smell also. That's kind of what I went to first. I have an orange Danish and coffee clam might be good to mix with this also. I really, I love mixing stuff together. Okay, sugar daddy. Sugar milk, warm apple pie, and frosted sugar cookies. Love those colors too. Yeah, um, this is a spicy apple pie to me. And there is a kind of a twang. Sure, and that, I don't even know how to really describe sugar milk. I don't want to say sour. I know some people pick up a sour note from sugar milk and cheesecake. I don't pick up sour. Just just a little twang or something. I don't know. But yeah, this is definitely um, warm apple pie heavy. Lemon blueberry glazed cake pops. I do love lemon and blueberry together. Oh, and this is just a, yeah, this is a good combination of the two. It's not, I don't get like blueberry pie. I kind of get a fresh blueberry and a bright tart lemon. Mm, I like that. I like lemon. I, I'm really not picky about lemon. I'm a little picky about blueberry. Um, 
but I love lemon and blueberry together. This is different. Lime, basil, salt, water, taffy. Oh, I got some pretty good salt water taffy in Florida. I will say I am a, I like cinnamon salt water taffy. If you have a rule king, uh, they've got big bags of just all cinnamon and it is so good. And we have a rule king not very far away and I don't know why I never think about it. I couldn't find any all cinnamon in Florida. Okay, so this is a not a tart lime like in the donut lime donut holes or even in the, what's the other one? The strawberry lime sorbet. Yeah. Um, this is more subdued, more creamed out, probably with the taffy. And I think the basil just kind of gives it a kind of an earthy note, maybe kind of a, a garden type earthy note. This is interesting. I wonder how this would do with um, cleaning out bad smells. You know, if you cook something that, or the smell of uh, defrosted chicken and shrimp that was in my fridge when we came home from vacation and it was dead. Uh, cashmere clouds, Palo Santo cashmere, boardwalk marshmallow clouds type. Love all these notes. And this is pretty. This is body care. This, this would make beautiful body care. Which, Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds is a Bath and Body Works body care type. Well, I don't know, body care. I know they had, you know, have I ever had Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds from Bath and Body Works? I don't think that I really have. I just know that it's a Bath and Body type. Cashmere Leans Body Care Palo can sometimes lean um, perfumey or um, woodsy. Yeah, to me, this smells very sophisticated, like a very sophisticated adult body care. It's super pretty. I think Brad will like this one in the basement. And the last one I got is Strawberry Peppermint Cupcakes at Tiffany's. Look at those colors. This is Strawberry Jam, Peppermint, and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I think in the last order I got, was it just peppermint cupcakes at Tiffany's? Ooh, strong peppermint. To me, this is a strong peppermint. And it's taking over. I do get some strawberry jam. My nose is cold right now, you guys. <laughs> I'm smelling this peppermint. Think this is. Let me see. Get a little bit of the strawberry jam, but mainly peppermint. This is really peppermint heavy to me. That doesn't mean it's going to stay that way when I warm it, but yeah, that is, it's a nice peppermint. I'm hoping some of those other notes come out. Right at first sniff, I do get the strawberry, but then the peppermint starts like cleaning out all my sinuses. So that was a good little haul. Um, I've got a couple more videos to do, a couple more hauls to get done so I can get all of this put away. So thanks for stopping by and I hope you're enjoying your Sunday and having a relaxing time. So I will see you in a bit. Thanks, bye.